Hey everyone, enjoy the show. Editing Room Messenger coming in, new movie, Editing Room Messenger. Coming in, let's go, Editing Room. Woo! Hey folks, how you doing today? So uh, I'm not necessarily, have ever done a bicycle before, but I ran across this, what would be a 1940-ish, it's in the early 40s, Schwinn bicycle truck. Schwinn actually made these for grocery stores, hardware stores, etc. So just like today, you know, you could have your groceries, like Grubhub, you could have your groceries or your hardware things brought to your place of business or as well as your home. When I got this bicycle, it was in very good condition. It was a beautiful core to start with. And Jaime here, who works with us, is a uh, bicycle aficionado. So I kind of turned the project over to him. Uh, we actually did it together, but he did most of the work. And he's very familiar with Schwinn's and as far as all the original parts, a lot of nice original parts on this. First of all, like always, full restoration. We took it completely apart. Uh, the, the frame went out to powder coat. We did it in a granny apple green, which has some light metal flake in it. It's just a super nice color. All of the fenders all went out for chrome, everything. All, all of, the, of the races and all of this, everything that we could take off that needed to go to chrome went to chrome, handlebars, gooseneck. I know it looks a little funny, this being so high and this being so high, but I have attached and was able to get an original brochure from the period time, new old stock, which shows the handlebars and seat in the exact same position. So that's the way that they were meant to be ridden. As you see, it has a 20 inch, I believe, on the back. 26 inch on the back, Jaime's guiding me. And a smaller tire on the front, that's the way they're designed. Uh, what else is kind of cool is the, the, the way that they designed the kickstand here. As you see, you just push it forward and then it kicks up and locks. Super, super cool, right? Now this bicycle, according to the brochure, which is once again, new old stock here, will take 150 pound payload up there in the basket. 150 pounds this thing will carry. The other thing that we did is this part here was specifically made for a sign. So once again, for hardware store, grocery store, we are thinking, well, how can we theme this? How can we make it cooler than just putting Fred's hardware? So today and in the past, they used these in the back lot movie studios. They were messenger bikes. They were running all over the place. They still use bicycles at the studios. So we thought it would really be cool if we did this in an MGM back lot editing room messenger bicycle, which we did. So we themed it as well as we have a sign on the front, which you will also see. Um, we put mirrors on it as they would have had then. Brand new, nice headlight, bright, bright, bright. It is an LED light, which is super cool. And I paid a bunch of money for this new old stock accordion horn, because instead of a ding, 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 we thought this would be super cool. Excuse me, folks, get out of the way. New movie coming in. And then I went and got a nice original old film can, which would have took a whole movie in because they would have three to five reels in it. So we did that up real nicely and put it in here. It comes with it. So uh, obviously, as you can see, we put brand new white wall tires on it. We did a two stage chain guard. So we chromed the whole chain guard. Then we back taped it just to leave the chrome because that's the way they would have done it at the factory. All the races, everything came out of this sprocket re-chromed. Uh, the pedal assembly here is re-chromed. The wheels were in good shape. Luckily, we didn't have to do anything with those because they were in super good shape. We didn't have to unlace them and mess around with them. So that was one for us. Uh, the bicycle is absolutely cool. Um, so you can, if you would like, you can change these signs. They're just bolted on. If you'd like to put your company on it and convert it to yours, no problem whatsoever. Now, if I was a cat and had a big warehouse, love my employees, and you know, I wanted to fool around with them, I'd probably buy this and ride around the warehouse with it, giving out uh, hamburgers and stuff. That would really be fun. Or you could use this as well as a trade sign if you had a bicycle shop or anything, put it in the window. Super, super nice bike. Original basket. Uh, it was just an absolutely beautiful core. No expense spared. We chromed the kickstand here, as well as it, we put the little reflectors in it here to go around as well as these cycle trucks had a two-speed hub here. So this was two speeds. It was almost like a automatic transmission. 
So it's got the original two-speed hub in it. We did everything we could. It comes with the can. It comes with an original brochure, which you will see in the still photos. Just an absolutely cool piece. We enjoyed doing it, and somebody's gonna have just a really killer 1940s Schwinn cycle truck. And as always, thanks for watching our videos, and we're happy to do them. We get great response, and we appreciate your viewing. These are antiques. These are mantiques. Antique, mantique. These guys sell mantiques. This is their store. We're picking, we're bringing stuff every day, in and out, in and out, in and out. We're, we're, we're shaking and baking. These are their customers. Give me the rundown on the GMC. This lived in a bar in Ghent in Belgium. Follow Jim and Jeff from nine to five or after hours as they buy, sell, and restore the coolest stuff for the coolest collectors worldwide.